Ah! <laughs> Hi, Gur. Hello everyone, I'm Prickly Alpaca, and welcome to another long-awaited drawing video. <laughs> Today, I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different, stretch my character design muscles a little bit, and do a character design challenge. So all of these character designs are randomly generated. I decided I would pick a random background from Pinterest for all of the characters to kind of inspire their environment and their color palette, a random shape for their shape language, a random gender, a random personality, and a random occupation job thing. Whatever they do. <laughs> so on this first little girl, uh, she was actually quite difficult because her personality was described as being superior, callous, quick thinking, and law-abiding. And I couldn't really think about how to make a cute little feminine character all of these things. Because she has like this circle shape language, and to be honest, circles are probably some of the shape language that I use the least in my art. I tend to lean towards more angular shapes, so she was a bit difficult. I actually spent a while just doing a lot of iterative sketches for her. It was quite difficult to figure out something that would fit, but I finally settled on this kind of calloused hunter girl uh, from an arctic environment. I feel like she probably helps her family hunt food. I don't know, maybe she considers herself the lady of the house. She probably has or had a father or a mother who was really good at hunting and things, and now she wants to be this strong, powerful, <laughs> cold and calculated character who provides for her family or her tribe or whatever. I really was not confident in this design at first, but I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out. I think she ended up being really cute, and I think that her look, her cold gaze really says it all. I don't know what kind of story she would fit into, but I really just imagine her wandering around the wilderness being kind of a hermit, but outside, sort of like an introverted character who doesn't like people a whole lot, but really enjoys nature and work. So on this second character here, I had some struggles. <laughs> I mean, I had struggles on the first character, but on the second character, I got this interesting city background from Japan, which was really exciting for me. And I ended up getting a triangle for the random shape. For the gender, they were androgynous, and their personality is honorable, vain, risky, irrational, and I originally put that they were going to be a gangster. But in the end, I kind of decided I wanted them to have more of an anti-hero character about them because they definitely ended up looking terrifying. <laughs> I actually started on a whole other drawing for this particular prompt, and I ended up absolutely hating it. I was considering putting it in the video, and I might, I don't know. I haven't at this point because I just thought it looked so terrible. I only got about halfway done with inking before completely scrapping it. But then I went back to the drawing board and actually came up with something pretty interesting. Um, this character was very inspired by, like, Tokyo street fashion and all the crazy looks you see on, like, Harajuku girls. And, um, they're just very cool and terrifying. Also, like, sort of Suicide Squad inspired as well. Uh, they're just pretty crazy. Uh, I also ended up making them kind of inspired by a viper snake because of the kind of fang design I gave them on their mask. And even though the background has mostly just little hints of yellow, their main color is more of a green, an electric green. I don't know. I kind of imagine them being a mercenary of sorts and uh, they definitely have their best interest in mind. They don't really serve anyone but themselves. I imagine them running around the streets of Tokyo, causing trouble and working with gangs and making lots of money, but they also aren't particularly interested in doing bad things. Uh, they just really like money. They have expensive taste, obviously, they have all this fashion going on, <laughs> so they definitely need money to be able to afford all these designer boots and ripped jackets and jewelry. <laughs> 
So I guess I'm going to talk a little bit about my design process itself. Um, for a lot of these, I really wanted to emphasize shape language and sort of whatever shape was influencing my design, I wanted to have all the edges kind of evoke that shape. So on the first one, I'm not really sure if I succeeded with that or not. I think she ended up being pretty round. Her overall shape is definitely round. But on the second one, I really tried to push everything and make every edge quite sharp. And the overall shape of the character is also a triangle because of their big trench coat. Um, I think this one is probably one of the more successful ones in terms of shape language and one of the least successful ones in terms of actually following the color palette. Uh, my eyes are just too drawn to having very bright colors <laughs> for this muted background. I think most of my backgrounds in this video are a little bit more muted or monochromatic than I would like. Um, one of them later is mostly just two colors and it was really frustrating for me. I keep breaking the rolls a little bit in color picking and then kind of moving things around on my color wheel even though I was gonna try not to do that. I did it anyway. <laughs> so otherwise for the design I should have swatched out all the colors in my background that I wanted to use. But again I kind of cheated and just decided to pick and choose what colors I wanted and emphasize more colors over others. I did eventually end up putting um, yellow into the hook on that character, trench coat kind of thing. Um, but otherwise, I kind of failed a little bit. So this next character is probably my favorite character out of all of them, especially during the sketch phase. I thought that he just looked so cute and precious. And for some reason, I've just had this weird farm core obsession recently because I follow a couple of farm core blogs on Tumblr and that's sort of where his design came from. But his prompt is that he has this beautiful mountain background with uh, blue and purple flowers. I thought that they would just be so pretty to draw. Um, and that's why I gave him a flower crown. Uh, his shape is a square. His gender was male. His personality is content, requires positive feedback and kind. And his occupation or job or whatever you want to call it is a gardener slash farmer. Um, I even gave him a little collie and a chicken on his shoulder because whenever I was drawing this, I just couldn't help but add things to it. I thought that it was just so much fun. And uh, I am also of German heritage. My grandmother is from Germany and I've been immersed in German culture my entire childhood. So I also gave him a stunning pair of Lederhosen. Um, they actually look a bit like my pair of Lederhosen that I got from my grandfather. They don't fit me anymore, but they're really pretty. And um, I really like just the design of Lederhosen in general. They remind me a lot of the cute overall shorts craze that sort of went on a couple of years ago where every girl just was obsessed with overall shorts. And um, I think that Lederhosen are basically that, but for guys, and I love it. It just adds to his cute, soft, precious personality. For his shape language, I feel like it ended up being a lot more rounded squares just because he's so calm and content. The shape language of a circle reads as being a little bit kinder, a little bit more inviting, whereas squares are a little bit more stern and grounded. And I think the mix of a circle and square is very good for this character because he is quite grounded and calm, but he's also very inviting and kind. This ink and the coloring and everything in general on this one kind of took me forever. It was a little bit annoying, <laughs> um, but I think I did get it done, I guess, faster than I normally do. I'm kind of trying to make my speed with illustrations a little bit faster because I've been in college and I haven't been practicing as much as I should. Um, the only reason I'm actually able to do this right now is because I'm home because of COVID-19 and I don't really have anything else to do but work on my freelance art and now do some YouTube. And of course, I still have homework and everything, but I would be quite bored if I didn't start doing YouTube again and take on a bunch of freelance work. I think his collie might be my favorite part of this drawing. I still really love him, but I just really like the fact that his collie ended up looking so cute. And I feel like they look very similar just because of the style of eyes that I gave them. And also their mouths are like open. <laughs> 
think they match very well. And the chicken is just so random, but it suits him so much. Um, I kind of imagine him being like everyone's dad in this little mountain village, maybe in Germany. I don't know where, where does he live? Um, I also gave him a little basket of fruits and produce. I imagine that he takes extra fruits and produce around to his neighbors and around to people in the village or in the little city who are working hard in their shops. Um, he's a very nice gentleman. I'm sure he's like retired and now he just gardens and farms and does what he loves. Before I forget, if any of you guys have names for these characters, please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I will choose one and I'll leave a featured comment with the names of the people who came up with the names that I like. And I'll also feature you in the next character design video. I'll let everyone know what names I chose. And with that, he is done. I did end up changing the color of his shirt in the end because I thought the white was just a little bit too much. It was kind of a cooler color and I wanted to introduce some warmth. All right, for our fourth and final character, the pump is this beautiful ocean sunset background. And her shape is like an upside down teardrop. Uh, her gender is female. Her personality is greedy, sneaky, nervous, and clever, and her occupation is a thief. So on this one, I sort of had the idea of doing like a reverse aerial. Uh, I guess this is sort of what mermaids are supposed to be in general. It's sort of more of like a siren character than a mermaid because um, mermaids sort of lure pirates to their deaths and then they eat them, but I don't really want this character to eat anyone. I mean, I don't even know if they actually eat people. Do they eat people? I feel like that's in some of the lore. I've seen it somewhere, at least in like television. Um, but I guess I shouldn't really trust television for everything, right? <laughs> I thought this character was really fun. I feel like I could have pushed her design a lot more ultimately. Really the main reason I made her a mermaid was the upside down kind of teardrop looked a lot like a mermaid tail. Um, I thought it fit her very well. I tried to give her this nice little seductive personality and uh, expression. And I kind of hate that in inking, I forgot that in the sketch she was supposed to be winking at the viewer and I made her left eye actually open. So I might actually go back and fix that because it just doesn't have the same effect if she's not winking because she has this seductive, cute little look on her face. And then behind her head, of course, she's holding a knife that has some red stuff on it. Is it blood? I don't know. Um, let's, let's say maybe it's not blood for the sake of my more sensitive viewers, but it's probably blood. <laughs> I ended up giving her like a cute little belt with some little bottles of potions or something. I imagine, I don't know, whenever she can go on land, she might drug people, go to like taverns and drug men so she can steal from them. And then she has a little pouch so that she can hold like all of the stuff that she steals from them. Um, again, sort of the reverse mermaid thing. Uh, she loves collecting little objects, but instead of getting them from sinking ships, I feel like she probably just gets on the ships or goes on land and directly steals from people. I think that she has the direct approach and um, she's not really afraid of anyone. She's very self-confident, but also kind of nervous that she's going to get caught. I really do wish that I reflected some of her other personality traits better in this pose. Um, because it does say that she's greedy, sneaky, and clever, but she's also nervous, so um, maybe I should have tried to evoke that somehow. I don't know. Um, they're kind of contradictory traits, which is interesting to think about, sort of the dichotomy of a character, but it's a little bit tricky, especially whenever you have random generators generating all the personalities and traits for your characters. Um, 
the coloring on this one was particularly hard for me because I really wanted to make it a little bit more rainbow and include more for this character, but it, that's not what the color palette was, so I couldn't. <laughs> And with that, she is pretty much done. So here are the full bodies of the characters. I just added a couple of little images behind them because I probably want to upload them somewhere soon. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Remember, if you have any names for characters, leave them down in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you would like to, and I will see you in my next video. And remember, whole wheat is the healthiest loaf.